Hi, fishy folks, and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. And that doesn't mean biological dads. That means if you're taking care of young people uh, as your own, in my book, you're a dad. So today's video, Sunday fun day. What fun do we have in store? Stay tuned. Hi, fishy folks. Today we're going to talk about selling fish online. So, you've decided to uh, breed for profit and you've exhausted all your opportunities local Craigslist, Facebook, uh, eBay, even your local fish store. You're producing too many fish to get rid of, or those avenues just aren't working for you. So, what do you do? Pretty much your only other option is to stop or find other avenues to sell, and that would be selling online. What's involved with selling online? Do you need licenses? You do need a business license, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's it, at least in my state, that's all you need. I don't need any license to sell fish, just a business license. Now that said, you should do research. You can ask Google Sensei, that would be Google, if you uh, don't speak Japanese, and you could type something in like, do I need a license to sell fish online? Let's just take a side note here. Let's just take a rant for a second, okay? It's Father's Day. I'm gonna try to stay calm, but if you type into Facebook something like, can I keep Oscars and goldfish together? And you get answers like, are you a dummy? Yes, you are. Do you know why? Because you could do the same thing in Google, instead of opening up Facebook, www.facebook.com, or clicking your favorite, you could just go to Google and type the same thing. You'd probably get your answer. So, so when people answer like smart ass answers to serious questions, you, you brought it upon yourself. I'm sorry. Rant over, stepping down off my soapbox. What were we talking about? Selling fish online. Um, so research on your own about licensing. Um, I didn't research it first, to be honest. In fact, my accountant's the one that told me I needed a business license. When, uh, when I handed him a W-9 for XX amount of dollars, and he was like, um, this is gonna be a little hard to hide. And I'm like, what? So, yeah. Um, side note, it's now June. He told me this in February. I still don't have a business license, so I gotta, I gotta get on that. Anyway, uh, selling fish online. Then you need uh, a place to sell them, like a website. And there are a ton of do-it-yourself websites, Easy, Wix, and uh, WooCommerce, and a bunch of other ones. Um, I uh, had a friend, Graham, uh, from Aquarium Adventures, set me up with hosting and make a basic site. And uh, it was fine to start. I was tinkering with it, and, and I'm pretty sure his plan was he would set it up, hand it off to me, and not really be involved. Um, which is good, but I needed a little hand-holding and um, I decided to enlist the help of another friend Daniel Anderson from Hypnotic Aquatics um, Who basically supercharged the website and made it spectacular If you're looking for any type of website uh, Insight or or help or you need to purchase something contact Daniel Anderson at Hypnotic Aquatics link in the description below or Graham from Aquarium Adventures, link in the description below. Graham's in England, um, but he can do hosting and some other stuff as well. Uh, check them out. Their fees are very reasonable, and they know fish, so they know kind of how to do that. All right, now you decided on a website. You've set your website up, um, but you haven't gone public yet with the website, and the reason is you need to know a couple things. What fish are you going to sell? Um, how much are you going to sell them for? How are you going to ship them? How much is shipping? So I use a flat rate shipping of $20, and um, sometimes your package is gonna cost less than $20 to ship, but sometimes it's gonna cost more. Um, it's easy that way. It's easy to set up the website. It's easy to calculate my cost. It's easy to calculate my profit. Um, and you know, every now and again, I run specials on shipping where I actually lose money on shipping, and many people do that in the hobby. Uh, anyone that says free shipping or $5 shipping or like I have right now, $8 shipping, you're losing money on shipping for the most part. Even if the shipping costs you approximately $8, you're losing money because there's materials involved. So you got to think about that if you're going to start selling fish online. 
another problem that I have is uh, I always think I have a ton of stock and then if I run a sale and I get a run on a certain fish, I run out and I hate that. I really don't like that because that's not good customer service. So you gotta keep an eye on your stock. Um, a couple other things to think about are when are you gonna ship? Is it convenient for you to ship on Mondays or Tuesdays? Uh, most people ship on Mondays and Tuesdays because you figure three days for priority. If you ship on Monday, the customer will get it uh, Wednesday or Thursday. If you ship on Tuesday, they'll probably get it Thursday or Friday. What you don't want, especially if you're going to send it to a business, is to ship it on Wednesday and it get there on Saturday or Sunday because the business might not be open. I have shipped on Wednesdays before, very rare cases, lots of uh, disclaimers to the customer <coughs> because things happen, things get delayed. Um, I did have a box of fish that was uh, shipped and nine days later the customer, it showed up at the customer's door and all the fish were alive. Um, that's another thing you got to think about is what are you going to do about DOA? What's your DOA policy? So I have a DOA policy where if it's DOA, within two hours, let me know and I will ship you new fish. But I don't pay for shipping. A lot of people don't like that. But if there's a delay in shipping or something happens, I can't be responsible for it. It's the USPS that's responsible for it. So you can always submit a claim to USPS. That said, I have worked with a couple customers. If something's happened, I have taken care of them because ultimately it's customer service that's going to win your customers over. Uh, the other thing you really need to be prepared for is questions. I get a lot of questions. I get a lot of requests. Can you take this, a picture of the specific fish you're gonna sell me? No. If I'm gonna take the time to catch the fish, you're buying it. That's why if someone wants to meet me for fish, I try to make them pay up front. I don't want to catch the fish, bag the fish, waste the time, the energy to go to, the, to our meeting place and they don't show up. So in most cases, I ask for paying up front if they're going to meet me, but it's a whole nother story. I think I'm rambling a lot, but that's okay. It, it might be interesting to you guys. If not, oh well. Um, what else when it comes, there's a lot of things involved with selling fish online. Um, as an example, I work Mondays, obviously, and I like to bag my fish the day I'm going to ship them. The less time they're in the bag, the better. Although I know that if I bag the fish the night before, they'll be fine. What's an extra 10 or 12 hours in the bag, right? But to be safe, I try to bag them the morning that I ship them. Now, tomorrow morning, I have like 12 or 13 orders going out because I had some orders from before I went to Japan that I had to, I have to pack. I have orders while I was in Japan that, uh, that I took that <coughs> I knew I wasn't going to ship and I told them until I get back. And uh, then I ran a sale this weekend. I still have that sale going on up until uh, the end of Father's Day and that's $8 shipping. Use the promo code 8KSUBS for $8 shipping. Thank you so much for 8,000 subs by the way. Uh, so I have quite a few boxes to pack up. now. And some of them, like I'm selling whole colonies of fish, that's going to take time to catch all those fish. So I'm probably going to catch them tonight, put them in a bucket, and then tomorrow morning bag them right from the bucket to make it easier. Um, I've done that before, no problem. There are some, some uh, items that I'm going to bag tonight, late tonight. I know I'm going to bag them because they're only two days shipping and I know they'll be fine. But what you got to remember is if you're going to sell fish online, what day you're going to ship them and... Are, do you have that time? You know, some people work early on Mondays. Maybe their shift starts at six. That means you're gonna have to bag them the night before or wake up at the butt crack of dawn. Um, I've done that too. Uh, before I used to bag fish the night before auctions, I would bag them that morning. And uh, if the auction was two hours away, I want to get there by 10. That means I had to leave here by eight or earlier. If I'm gonna stop for breakfast and I would wake up five o'clock in the morning to bag fish. I'm a little quicker at it now, so you know it doesn't take that long, but something to think about. <clears throat> Finally, you want to sell fish online. You've got the stock. You've learned how to ship fish. You've got your license. You've got your website up and running. You're answering questions. Now the actual moment comes. How are you going to accept payment? Boom, PayPal. 
I recommend PayPal. There's seller protection, there's buyer protection, there's all kinds of tools they allow to use, discount on shipping if you go through PayPal. That's what I recommend to use. All right, fishy folks. I think that's it for talking about how to ship fish or how to sell fish online. Yeah, how to sell fish online. Hope you guys liked it. Hiya, fishy folks, and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, <coughs> now that we have that out of the way, hi, hi, fishy folks. Today we're going to talk about starting your own website. No, we're not. Hi, fishy folks. Today we're going to talk about what do you do about selling your fish. No, we're not.